Good morning on this, the fifth Sunday of Lent, Passion Sunday, the beginning of Passion Tide. Uh, we tried to stream the service this morning that was offered on behalf of all the parishes of Exning and North Newmarket, but I'm afraid uh, the technology let us down. But we were very pleased that many of you were able to join us on the telephone conference call we set up. Uh, that seems to be a more reliable way of doing things, but of course uh, means that you get audio only and not very high quality audio at that. Uh, but it was wonderful to hear so many voices, so many people joining in. And as we were saying some of those texts together, particularly the Creed, uh, it was wonderful to hear uh, voices from all different parts of the town uh, join in together and to hear that common witness, that common faith, that reassurance that we are gathered, we are together, even though physically we are separated and dispersed. That is one of the themes that came through the two readings this morning from Ezekiel chapter 37 and from John's Gospel chapter 11. John's Gospel is the raising of Lazarus and Ezekiel is the raising of those dry bones of the valley uh, of Israel and the Lord gives to those bones this new life. The sinews come back onto the bones, form flesh and they're given new life. And the text says that the Spirit of God is in them and therefore they have life. And that's true for us too. The Spirit of God is in us and therefore we have life. We've been reading John's Gospel building up through Lent uh, this idea that the Spirit gives us life. We are born again in the Spirit, Jesus says to Nicodemus, and in us, he says to the woman at the well at Samaria, the spirits, the waters of life bubble up, giving us this new hope, this new life, this new sense of belonging to the community of Christ, to the body of Christ. And so it is in the spirit that we have that new life. That means that through Lent this year, we've been asked to reflect on what it means to be the body of Christ, what it means to be gathered in the spirit. And we've been asked to do that this year when we're not able to physically gather, to physically focus ourselves through the building, uh, through the church spaces that normally encourage us to an awareness of holiness, of beauty, of truth. But nonetheless, we encourage one another in our prayer. We encourage one another in those things which are fundamental to our identity in Christ. We realise that our identity doesn't come from any building, from any uh, affiliation, from uh, any earthly thing, but from Christ and our baptism in him and our joining together to give thanks at his altar. That is what we did this morning and that was offered on behalf of all the parishes of Exning and North Newmarket, whether you were able to join in or not. Uh, if you were not able to be there, do send your uh, prayer requests to the clergy and we'll be able to pray with you uh, later on during the day. And we do hope to make uh, these ways of accessing the gathered worship of the church more easily uh, as we go forward. One of the things that the archbishops have encouraged us to do is to make a spiritual communion if we're not able to receive the body and blood of Christ. This is a way of acknowledging that we are still members of that body, that we are still strengthened by Christ's sacramental presence, but that for a time we are unable physically to receive these outward signs of inner grace. The words that we're encouraged to use are, after giving uh, thanks after a time of prayer and intercession. Lord Jesus Christ, since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. Know that you do that alongside the worshipping body of Christ, including myself who has offered Mass here in Newmarket for us all. So may the Lord be with you in this time of isolation, of distancing. May you know his presence and may you know the prayer of the whole church, the parish that is gathered around us here and the global church. And we were reminded of that 
this week in the Pope's prayers. You do watch uh, our videos on this channel about that uh, which are there for you to engage with. The Lord be with you. Christ crucified, draw you to himself to find in him a sure ground for faith, a firm support for hope and the assurance of sins forgiven and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you today and always. Amen.